In this lesson, we'll be discussing PHP variables. You can think of a variable as a container for storing information. Variables can store both numerical and text data. In this document, we have some PHP embedded in the body of our HTML. In PHP, a variable declaration must start with the dollar sign, followed by the variable name. In this case, we've named the first variable var1. The var1 variable contains the value hello world. We also have two other variables declared, x and y. x holds a value of 15, and y holds a value of 20.5. There are some basic rules when naming variables. A variable must start with the dollar sign followed by the name of the variable. A variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character. A variable name cannot start with a number. A variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. Variable names are case sensitive. When working with variables, the PHP echo statement is often used to output the data. Here, we've outputted the values contained within each one of the variables we declared, and this is done using the echo statement. We can see that we were outputting the value of var1, followed by an HTML break, and then the value of x break, and then the value of y. Lastly, we'll be outputting a horizontal line. And you can see the output here on, in our web browser. Hello world, the value of x, which is 15, and the value of y, which is 20.5. We can also output a combination of variables in text. So here we've declared a variable named sport containing the value football. Next, we have an echo statement which outputs the words I like, and then the value of the variable sport, which in this case is football. And we can see the result over here. This is the final output. And we also have a horizontal line, which you can see. We can also use another output method to achieve the same result. So here we have the same variable name, sport, and the same value, football. The only difference is in the format of the echo statement. In this next example, we output the value of one variable added to another. In this case, x plus y. That's what we have in our echo statement x has been assigned the value of 5, and y has been assigned the value of 6. Notice that we don't have to put quotations around numerical values. And when we add the values together in our web browser, we see that 11 is displayed.